wastes to the south of Sinella weren't always blighted, you know. Once there was a great nation there, and it's said that the gods walked among the people. Then one day, it all just disappeared, and the blight began to spread. No one knows why it happened, but there are many theories. Some say it was demons raging a war against the gods. Others, that the gods were punishing the people for abusing the natural order. There are other wilder theories, but that's not the point of this. At the founding of our republic, some scholars found some ruins at the edge of the blight, and in those ruins they found a mural that depicted a story from ancient times. And it's that story I want to tell you today. The mural showed a great city with tall spires of green glass and the rays of the sun shimmering through heaving crowds of people celebrating a royal wedding. Guests began to arrive, including a giant that towered over everyone, with slimy tentacles instead of a beard and glowing red eyes. This guest was not invited and was thrown out of the feast they swore vengeance, and returned with several hundred of their kin, and destroyed the city by tearing it down with their bare hands. The ancient people sent many spears against them, but the giants used magic to obliterate the spears from the air before they could even land. With their city gone, their warriors all dead, the people prayed to the goddess Andra for their survival. Andra answered their prayers and told them to retreat to the peak of a nearby mountain, which she then flattened to make a plateau that the people might build a new city there. And so they did, buildings even more graceful and beautiful than those that had come before rose up, and slowly they began to recover. But the giants, they had not forgotten their slight and they returned to destroy the ancients. As they approached the city, the earth beneath the moor began to shake. The ancient people thought that Andra was angry with them, but she appeared and reassured them that they should stay exactly where they were, for she was there to help. The mountain itself then began to rise as four legs lifted it above the ground causing many falling rocks to hit the giants, who then retreated. Surprised, the giants called together their mightiest magicians and sorcerers that cast their magics up towards the city. But it all hit the stone below and was rebounded back onto them, as though it had bounced off a mighty shell. Finally, the tallest and strongest of the giants decided to try climbing the mountain. As they approached, a pair of enormous green eyes opened in the cliff face, and a head the size of 200 cattle came out and ate the giant in one swift gulp, before turning to the giant horde and spraying the rest of them with fire. Legend says that the city never stayed in one place after that, walking around the land on the back of the fearsome living mountain, under the guidance and protection of Andra, what scholars would not give to find the remains of that city.